what is up everybody so uh um if you've been living under a rock a lot a lot has been going on uh the last 24 hours or so i mean really a lot has been going on this whole year man 2020 has just been a freaking hot mess man i just wanted to end um 2020 has been an absolute nightmare and uh it doesn't look like it's gonna stop anytime soon but man so much stuff is happening right now it's, it's just a big mess in the world right now but uh we do have some news and i want to talk about it um so it looks like apparently screen 5 is gonna be happening now i don't know if it's gonna be a reboot or if it's just gonna be like a sequel I prefer a sequel because I like to see Sydney and you know Gail and Dewey and all them back but who knows but um I do have a little faith in this one because the filmmakers from Ready or Not are going to be directing this movie and if you have not seen Ready or Not please check that out it's it's very underrated like it's really good so go check out Ready or Not because it's really good man but um yeah the Scream is back um i'm excited you know um you know um i was a little iffy on it you know since wes craven isn't here anymore um but hopefully they can do this justice you know what i mean um but uh yeah and kevin williamson will be back uh he'll be an executive producer so that that that's some good news um kevin williamson um wrote uh the the uh first three screen movies so um yeah so at least they got somebody close to the uh, Scream franchise back for it. Um, there are no plot details or anything like that. Um, but, you know, apparently sources say that um, the movie will follow a woman returning to her hometown to try and find out who has been committing the series of crimes. Um, man, dude, please bring back Sydney Prescott um and gail weathers and dewey and all of them please do that um they you know bring the at least bring the ogs back you know what i mean um but yeah um you know it's not known if this film will connect to the previous installments or if it's going to be a fresh take like i don't mind a fresh take but at least bring back a few of the ogs you know what i mean um so yeah that that's my thoughts on all that i'm excited for it i'm interested um i'm a big fan of the screen franchise it rejuvenated the slasher film uh horror genre back in the 90s with the first screen by the way i i just recently reviewed screen uh 1996 so go check that out and uh hear my thoughts on that but uh yeah man are y'all excited for screen do you think they should have brought it back or you know do you think they should have just left it alone now uh since Wes Craven isn't here um to you know put his input on the movies give me y'all thoughts in the comment section down below on that but uh in other news man in other crazy news um this sucks man because I it's I'm a fan of this franchise as well uh, Fast 9, uh, The Fast and the Furious, um, you know, it was supposed to come out in May of 2020, but now due to this uh, punk-ass coronavirus, uh, it's now going to come out in April 2021. It got delayed a whole year. So we saw all the trailers and all that. We saw, you know, the big secret and all that. And now we have to wait a whole year. April 2nd, 2020, uh, 2021 to be exact. That just, that sucks. Um, but Fast 9 isn't the only movie that, uh, got delayed. Uh, apparently A Quiet Place 2 has got delayed. Mulan got delayed. Oh, and to nobody's surprise, New Mutants got delayed once again. Like, good lord. You know what? Just released that movie on Disney+. Plus. Why not? Come on, man. Um... Release it on uh, Disney Plus. I have no problem with that. Um, so I'm guessing the uh, Fast and Furious 10 will be released in 2022 or something like that. I'm guessing. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, I, I understand the delays, you know what I mean? It's messing with everybody's money, you know what I mean? So that's why they're delaying these. Um, and also, I mean, you don't really want to have a whole bunch of people in one room at the same time because, you know, a virus can spread, like, so quick like that, man. So um, I understand why things are getting delayed, man. It just freaking sucks, you know what I mean? Oh. <sighs> like wrestlemania might get delayed i mean you already see they um suspended the nba season um the nhl season's been suspended mlb has been suspended like everything is getting canceled man it's just a big mess it all sucks man but um yeah give me y'all thoughts on everything being canceled and delayed what are y'all thoughts on this coronavirus man um I know y'all probably heard it a million times, man, but stay safe out there. Make sure that y'all wash your hands, you know what I mean? You know, drink water, eat healthy, you know, just stay clean, man. Um, you know, uh, I don't know, watch Netflix or something. Like, if I were you, I'd just stay to myself at this point in time, you know what I mean? Uh, but, uh, yeah, I know grocery stores and shit like that it's going crazy i know you know people are going crazy in them stores and stuff i mean man it's just getting it's it's nuts out here man it's really nuts out here but uh man dude it's crazy man what are y'all thoughts on all this craziness man this 2020 man i thought 2020 was gonna be a good year man but so far it's been a piece of crap been a piece of crap man it's been hell it's really been hell um i'm i'm personally just i'm exhausted i'm exhausted and uh i just hope all this is ended as soon as possible and we can get back to living our lives regularly but god damn man i'm just tired of all this bullshit but what y'all think, man? Uh, thumbs up if you're excited for Scream 5. And, uh, we're like, last time I checked, we were at 995 subscribers. So at least that's some good news. We're close to 1,000 subscribers, y'all. I didn't think we'd get this far. Incredible. Honestly, incredible, man. I appreciate all of y'all, man, for sticking with the channel, man. Um, and, uh, man, I don't take it for granted, man. I really do appreciate it, man. And, uh, I'll see you on the next video. All right.